So the question I want to ask everyone this morning and for us to think about is injustice. Where do you see it and what's your response? Now injustice is something that I've become increasingly passionate about in the last few years and it's something that um, I guess has affected my life in the last six months and got me thinking about. First of all, um, I'm a lawyer, just qualified as an employment lawyer, so I spent a lot of my recent time thinking, well, okay, I'm a Christian, I'm also a lawyer, how does my faith impact my work, and should I be using my work and my skills and put it into practice according to what I believe? So it's something that a lot of you here might think about, regardless of what your job or vocation is, it may have nothing to do with the law, is how can you be a Christian and how can you do your job? And then also six months ago, in June, I went on um, a, the Women's Weekend, which some of you I know came with us, and um, I was given some verses which I'd like to share with you this morning. So next slide, please. I think we had all of them already. Okay, we don't have any slides. So the verses that I was given were from Proverbs 31, verses 8 and 9, and I'd like to read them out to you this morning. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Now on the Sunday morning, before we were started, the speaker was about to uh, speak to us, she said that she felt that God had put on her heart um, a few things she wanted to share with people. And I was one of those people. And she opened her Bible to those verses and she read them out. And before she said who they were for, I knew that they were for me. And she looked around the, the congregation and she said, yes, your name is Catherine Sinclair, isn't it? These verses are for you. I took a complete step back and thought, well, what, what, how, how, why? And what she didn't know is that I was given some very similar verses about 13 years ago before I went to university, before I even thought about doing a law degree and I thought about being a lawyer. And 10 years ago before that, when I was a little girl, I was also given a word about my life, which is beginning, I guess, to make sense. It's along in the same, uh, similar vein of injustice. Injustice is something that's very close to God's heart. In the Bible, there's lots of references about God having compassion for those who are suffering, those who are brokenhearted, those who are poor, destitute, and those in captivity. So where have I seen injustice? Well, for some of you all know that my husband, Ben, and I, before I started uh, doing my training contract with a law firm, we worked in Cambodia for a um, project called Cambodia Hope Organization. And incidentally, they're one of the partners of Tear Fund. They work with families along the border between Thailand and Cambodia um, to prevent trafficking. So when I was there, I saw a lot of children who were kidnapped and sold into <coughs> slavery often as child labour, and then often used in the sex industry. I ask you, where's the justice in that? Nearer to home, we often see lots of illegal immigrants being smuggled into the country who are subject to awful conditions and work for cruel gang masters. Where's the justice in that? Then we obviously live in a really wealthy society where we obviously we get to use a lot of the world's major resources, but the majority of the world's population live in poverty. Where's the justice in that? And then closer to home, in our community here, we see injustice every day, sometimes in the playground, sometimes at work with our colleagues. God shared with me these, voice, uh, these, these, these Bible verses, and at the moment I'm trying to make sense of them and work out, are these a guiding principle for my life? Or is there something that specifically I should be doing about it? And I'm along that journey and I'm still trying to work out how I should respond. So the three things that I want you to think about this morning was one specific question. Next slide, please. We have three choices in dealing with injustice. Do we sit there and do nothing? Not for me to react, I'll let that pass me by. Or do we speak out, be an advocate, say something when we see something that's not right? Or three, do we act, do we do something? Sometimes it can be behind the scene, it could be something practical, support that we can do to show the love of God. So that's three different responses that we can have. And the next slide, please. So my question to you this morning is, injustice, where do you see it, and what is your response? 